Hello, I'm Jade Sneed from the Cosplay Resource, and today's Cosplay 101 lesson is the process of costume making. So here's the pattern that I picked for this tutorial. It is a basic schoolgirl outfit in three different ways, which can provide a lot of different character outfits from many different shows. I decided to use this pattern to make Kagome Hikarashi's outfit from Inuyasha. So one of the first things that I did is I looked at the back of the pattern and I decided what size I needed. Based on what size I need, it will tell me how much fabric I need as well. So after I figured out how much fabric and everything that I needed, I went and bought all of the materials. Some of the materials I needed included fabric, interfacing, little snap buttons, ribbons, and a zipper. After I got my pattern and materials, it was time to go through the pattern pieces and pick out which ones that I needed. Then I sorted them according to which piece went to which color fabric. After that, it was time to pin them in place and cut them all out. I ended up with a lot of pieces. So not only did I have to cut out all of these pattern pieces, but I also had to take some of the important information and transfer them over onto the fabric. If you're interested in how to properly read and use a pattern, let me know in the comments below and I can make another video to teach you guys how to read a pattern. After I got all the information copied over, it was finally time to get started with the instructions. And my favorite part, it was time to get sewing. So first of all, the instructions started with the shirt. The first steps were adding the darts to the front and the back of the shirt and attaching the front piece to the back piece at the shoulders. Here's a little bit of an idea of what that looked like. You can already see a little bit of the basic shirt idea coming forth from that. And then here you can see a little bit of the dart on the back of the shirt. After I got the shirt fixed up at the top, it was time to start working on the collar. For the collar, I applied interfacing to one of the sides and added ribbon to the side that was going to be facing out. And then I also added the underside. And here's the collar that goes around the top of the shirt. I took the collar and I attached it to the shirt and then I added a facing to the inside area of the collar. So here's progress on the shirt so far. Right here, you can see the darts. Here, you can see the collar and here you can see the facing. Here's a bit of a look at the back side of the collar as well. Next, it was time to add the inset into the shirt. So looking at the shirt, you can't really see that anything has changed, but right here you can kind of see there was a little bitty piece added. And if you get up really close, you can see it a lot better. After that, I added some of the sleeves and the top was finished. Then it was time to move on to the skirt. First of all, I added the zipper into the skirt, which was really interesting because most other patterns that I have done does not have you do the zipper first. And then I finished closing the circle into the basic tube shape that would become the skirt. When you first take a look at it, it's very wide and doesn't look much like a skirt. It just looks like a bunch of fabric. But then I added the pleats end and the waistband and then boom, it became a skirt. Pretty awesome, right? The skirt was a lot easier to make than the shirt because it had a lot less little details that had to go into it. So after the skirt was done, I created the tie and the knot that would go on the front of the shirt. And then I added it onto the shirt right here. And with that, the entire outfit was done. So that concludes today's tutorial. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you would like for me to cover, or if you have any other ideas of tutorials or topics that you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Keep it cost positive, guys! See ya!